Hello gamers and welcome back. I'm Rob, of course, or Warshack, if you want to call me by my in-game name. And we are actually joined today with someone who helped to donate these 335 packs of Mean Streets of Gadget, or Mean Streets of Gadgets and packs that we're about to open. Fuseman is joining us over Skype. Hey, Fuseman. Hey. So, without further ado, guys, this is very, very exciting. And I am looking forward to building a ton of decks. So I'm feeling, well, okay, first, I don't know. We just got to open them. I was gonna guess, but it's, it's too early to guess. Lotus Illusionish, not too bad, not too bad. My luck with opening packs has been pretty, pretty, pretty bad in the past. So, <laughs> uh, I remember in uh, Old Gods, we we had to get the Golden Yog, and we refused to give up until we got the Golden Yog, which took around, I want to say, close to 300 packs. So, Golden Potion of Madness is always nice. And if we don't get a legendary within like the first 20, we gotta change card backs to like something paid for. Because Blizzard, with the, if you paid for the card back, obviously the cards are gonna open up and the pack that it comes with is much better. So we've gotten two epics so far. Public Defender is gonna be an interesting card, whether or not it fits into the, uh, the um, Taunt Warrior build or not. I've heard a lot of things of it, of it being really good, a lot of things of it's really bad. But can't really tell until you test it, right? Jade Spirits found in basically all the Jade Golem decks. Nothing too crazy in that pack. We need to admire the animation. So the next pack we open, we gotta check out that anim animation. See how good it is. So I remember the old gods that like exploded with sticky ooze everywhere, which was pretty sick. So we'll check this one. It's like a bank and then coins everywhere. It's not too bad. I still like the old gods one better. What do you? Which pack opening did you like best, Fuse Man? Like when the pack opened? Uh, Whispers was really cool. I, I liked yeah. the, the little act of octopus legs. <laughs> I thought that was really cool as well. Ooh, third epic. Felt Orc Soul Fiend. I think this Cabal Chemist is actually going to be really, really good in um, one of decks. The, the, at a random potion, there's the... Um, the Priest Potion, which is a huge AoE. You've got the Polymorph Potion, of course. And then the, um, I think the other one's the Warlock Potion, which I'm pretty sure is just another mass AoE, so. They've added a lot of AoE in this expansion to kind of dim down the zoo, or the aggro decks, but unfortunately with, like, suppressing the aggro, it allows decks like Jade Golem to maybe get away, and that destroys control decks. So it's gonna be really, really interesting to see what decks come to the top of after this expansion. Whether it's going to be a mid-range, going to be an aggro, or it's going to be a control. Still haven't crossed our first legendary yet. Do you have any bets, Fuse Man? Any bets on the first legendary we're going to open up? It's going to come in the first 15 packs. Yeah, do you, do you, <laughs> you, want, to, you want to bet which one it is? The Shaman, the Warlock, a neutral? We'll go neutral. You're, you're going to bet neutral? Yeah. And that's the highest chance, right? <laughs> betting the odds, betting the odds. I'm What's feeling... It's going to happen in the next three packs. It's, it's going to happen, gonna happen in the next three packs. Ooh. Oh! Oh! oh there it is. All right, so we got to open them. Rare first, rare first. All right, all right. Then we got this epic. Can we see a golden epic? Can we see a golden epic? Normal epic. That means this has to be a golden legendary. So if this is a golden legendary. Your bet was neutral. My bet, I was feeling shaman, but then warrior trickled in my mind, but I'm going to go with the original shaman bet. Druid. And it's not golden. Still a good legendary, though. This is definitely one we probably would have had to craft if we didn't open it up. Not a bad pack at all. Not a bad pack at all. So let's add this to our screenshot. There it is. It's been saved. <sighs> Next one, next one. Oh, we gotta change our card back. Because we opened up our legendary, we've used up all the RNG. <laughs> Holy shit, the whispers. 35 packs this guy opened, not a legendary. No, that's horrible. Be. That's that's Ripperonis and the Chatteronis right there. God, we still haven't even broken that 300 mark, man. Holy shit, I clicked on it too fast. <laughs> that was a surprise attack legendary. <laughs> Oh, baby. Black Paul. She's definitely good. She's definitely going in the uh, the, uh, the Jade Golem decks. <laughs> Kill myself. <laughs> the guy is friendless. Back to back. Back to back. 
Weasel Tunneler. That's probably not one I'm happy to see, but still an epic, no doubt. I gotta be more cautious before I click. <laughs> that legendary just blowing out of nowhere. All right, so at 300 packs, we'll go to our legend card back because we've always had, we seem to have the most luck with our Nax card back and our legend card back. So we'll do that. Golden Common, there we go. The Shadow Rager found in almost every single deck in this upcoming expansion. It's just one of the core cards. It's just one of the core cards. It's a, it's a need to have. I, okay, there we go. It wasn't allowing me to click on the cards there for a second. Double Jade Spirit. Protector. I really don't know if Protector is going to be good or not. It was played um, in the games against Frodan with the other developer, and it came pretty came in a came in clutch. But I just don't know how many times this situation is going to occur where it's going to be, you know, have two good creatures to get um, put beside in order to give them Divine Shield. Because it's useless if you don't have the creatures to give it Divine Shield to. And Abyssal Enforcer was a huge improvement to Reno Warlock and just any kind of late game Demon Warlock. So, really excited to see that card come out. Oh man, so many packs. Brass Knuckles, not too bad, not too bad. Another epic. They seem to like the top right, these epics. They're hovering around the top right. Fight Promoter. Uh, what was interesting, I didn't know, if this card gets buffed where it turns into where it has 6 HP, it actually will count itself, so you can actually draw two cards. A couple people had commented when we had done our card review video that, you know, that is a possibility, so it makes it a little better because it can count itself. You don't have to depend on another card. Um, so, I thought that was a good, good little note to keep. I wonder how many other people are opening packs right now. So many. I know Crip is opening like over a thousand. That's crazy. Over a thousand packs. It's gonna take him all day. He's not gonna be able to play with the cards. <laughs> all right, another chemist. That's nice. I'm looking to open a lot of these pirates, right? because we need to build ourselves a Pirate Warrior, which I think is going to be at least a Tier 1 or a Tier 2 deck. Carded Pirate Warrior got a huge buff with the Warrior Legendary. Unfortunately, Control Warrior, however, got nothing. <laughs> but Pirate Warrior obtained quite a few great cards. Nothing too crazy. Feeling something good on the horizon, Fuse Man. I'm feeling something good on the horizon. It's got to come before we get the whole 300 here. Yeah, you're feeling it before we get to the 300 mark? I think so. All right. They gave Murlocs a lot of stuff too, which was surprising. Most expansions, they give Murlocs, you know, a good amount, but not as much as this particular one. So it'll be interesting to see if maybe Paladin Murloc becomes a thing. All right, there's our 300, 301 right here. So this is it. Until we switch that card back. Got an epic. It's not bad. Golden epic? Nah. Rat pack though. That card's freaking amazing. Alright. We're going to switch the card backs really quick. You got to go with the legend card back. It's the only way. Where are you legend card back? There you are. Boop. Alright. So now our first pack that we open will be a legendary. I lied. The second pack that we opened <laughs> will be legendary. You have to give it a second to know that you got legend card back. <laughs> yeah, we gotta give it a yeah, gotta give it a second. It's gotta gotta ruminate. All right, never mind. It's the third pack that really counts, guys. The third pack. It's not the second. It's not the first. Not the second. It's the third pack. Gotta gotta ease in there. It's not allowing me to click. There we go. All right, I lied. The legend card back's not lucky. <laughs> Ooh, golden rare. Getaway Kodo. I like the 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 flavor text on that one. 
So I get to the Kodo! <laughs> I actually did a top 10 flavor text video. I don't know when I'll release that, but maybe later tonight when this gets released, or maybe tomorrow, we'll see. But unfortunately, the Kodo didn't make it to the top of the list. Um, some others did. And I'll let you see in that video. Don't want to spoil it now. But there's some, there's some dank ones in there. Have you checked out the flavor text at all, Fuseman, on these, or no? No, I, I, I've actually, we talked about this before, I haven't looked at any of these cards yet. Oh, oh, okay, so I need to go a little bit, a little bit slower here. No, 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 don't do that. Uh, oh, okay, this ooh, baby. Ooh. All right. There we go. Let her rip. Not too bad, one of the leaders. So what is it? It's Hunter, Paladin, Warrior is the one gang. Should probably memorize these. <laughs> the whispers. <laughs> I should probably remember Spacebar also moves the pack over. Oh, double rare epic. Nice. Not too bad. So, since you don't know, and this is the first time you're seeing them, um, you know about the three gangs at least, right? And the gangs all have their special sort of uh, Yeah, when we talked about traits. this, I, I watched the first video that you put out, and then mm -hmm. for whatever reason, I decided, you know what, I want to be completely surprised the day it comes out. So I, I oh. then completely stopped reading or watching anything about it. Yeah. I feel like I, that would be really cool if Blizzard did that. They just held all the cards. Like, let's say they released, like, 30 to 40 percent just to, so people can see like what the expansion is going to be about right like so they can get a feel and then just left leave all the other cards until the actually like everything's out and then people can you know find out what the remaining cards are which i think is a really cool thing when people open up packs they're really not sure what they're going to get but they have a small idea because they've released you know a sample size but they're never going to do what that. What it means for me is i'll be up until late tonight just looking at all these cards probably not <laughs> just looking there's definitely some cool ones, no doubt. There's going to be a lot of new archetypes that spawn up. Lotus Agent was surprising. I, this is this guy right here. The Battle Cry Silence a Minion with Death Rattle. And he's a 6 drop, 5, 7. So his, you know, for the drop rate and his stats, he's, he's fine, you know. He's not understated or severely overstated. But his ability is so powerful against any sort of Nazoth deck. Or like a Sylvanas or something like that. So, it'll be interesting. I like. I, he's he's a card that I'm gonna be testing out a lot. See how useful he is. Hmm. Another Shadow Rager to add to our Shadow Collection. And that six drop one one guy that summons a, a six six is gonna be horrible for people using a um, uh, what is it Moonglade portal like myself with the low RNG for the Moonglade. He's just another card that can pop out of it. It'll be interesting to see if the um, if this turns into like death rattle buffing beast hand beast decks, or if they just keep going on with the beast hunter and don't really go with the hand buffs. They just push the beastness. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see where hunter sits after this, right? Because secret hunter right now is like the top of the food chain, not even like a mid range hunter. So it's interesting. Ball Trafficker, definitely going to be found in Demon Warlock. At the end of your turn, add a random demon to your hand, so it could be anything, really. That's nice. Yeah. And it's, you know, not understated, not severely overstated, and it gives you a card, sits on the board for, you know, longer than a turn or two, and you've got yourself, not only does Warlock normally have card advantage, but even more card advantage, so. It's definitely not a bad card. Probably not a two of, probably just a one of, right? But still a, definitely a solid card for the deck. This guy, the Crystal Weaver, the Battle Cry, give your demons plus one, plus one. He's a four drop, five, four. So it's just like, he's 
how, how would you just not play uh, this card in a demon deck? It's just auto, it's basically an auto include too, right? Fellfire Potion, another mass AoE for Warlock, definitely needed. Jade Shuriken though, very good for the, gonna be that Jade Idol Rogue. <sighs> dun, dun, dun. Jeez, we're at 274. We, we haven't even made a dent. <laughs> Another epic. Rat Pack, good. Now we got two of these. So obviously whenever we make Beast Hunter, we have the double Rat Pack to go in there. It's gonna, oh my God. It's hard to say how good Beast Hunter is gonna be, but Rat Pack definitely doesn't hurt it. Jade Swarmer Golden, very nice, very nice. We're also gonna play the dust guessing game after this. So we're gonna see how much dust we have, but first we gotta make our guesses. If any of you feel like guessing in the comment section, you feel free to. When we get to the end, you can go back and see if your guess was correct. I have no idea yet. We have to see how many epics and legendaries we get before I make a make a call on that. Ooh. So double rare. Okay, we haven't gotten our golden legendary yet. Oh, when he calls it. Oh, oh no, the same one. It's all right. It's all right. Looks like a gang member is getting disenchanted. <laughs> there was a pack opening video used, and this guy opened up what was it? Bolt Ram Shield. In his packs, he opened it up, I think, seven or eight times. The same legendary. Man. Man. <laughs> That's a legendary too. Oh, it was funny. Blubber Baron. Whenever you summon a battle card minion, I, I, I called this card bad. What do you think about it, Fuse? Whenever you summon a battle cry minion while this is in your hand, game 1-1. One, one. Yeah. It's just like, Man, understated, I right? So it has to sit in your hand doing nothing and it has to get at least you have to play at least like it two battle two or three battle cries just to get it to like a three drop four four which is going to take at least two or two or three turns <laughs> yeah from the i mean I, it's hard to have an opinion because i don't know what the other cards are doing but yeah it's just first glance yeah it doesn't look good yeah it's sad that they make those cards an epic, so like free-to-play player, you know, they open up the card, they get so excited, they're like, oh my god, an epic! And then you know, they, read, they read that, and they're just like, oh well. Rip. <laughs> this is rigged! Rigged! <laughs> I need to take a sip of coffee real quick. You caught me off guard when you whispered me. You said the packs are available. I'm like, it's 11.30. They said it was going to be out at um, like 10 or 11 um, PST, which is three hour We're three hours ahead of them, which means it would be like one our clock our time and um so i was like you know i have at least till one and then the servers get shit on for like at least an hour or two so i, I didn't expect to really open these up until like two or three Dang. but it's cool that we got to do it a little bit earlier in the day it gives me gives more time to grind ooh, ooh, ooh. got another legendary any guesses, Fuse? Any guesses? All right, so we've opened up two of the same. We've opened up a Druid, and that's it, right? Let's go with, uh, let's go with Mage. You're going with Mage? I'm going to stick to my Shaman. I'm sticking to the Shaman. We were both wrong. It's a fucking Murloc. <laughs> it, it, this card's going to be interesting. I'm not sure how good he is yet, but because he has stealth, there's a high likelihood he's going to be able to kill at least one thing, right? And you put him in Paladin so you can buff him. So it's like maybe he'll actually live long enough to kill two creatures. Got an epic. 
Mean Street Marshall. Definitely going into aggro paladin. 100%. The card's really, really good. You basically buff them, and the buff them allows you to draw a card. Drawing a card, as we know, is worth about one mana, so you gotta stat them at, like, one mana cheaper, which puts them at a zero mana one, two. So. Which is one stat higher than our favorite card, Wisp. <laughs> Double rare, golden, there we go. Unfortunately, it's not gonna, eh, the two drop, one, one, battle cry to stubber, hunter, powder, and warrior card, not too bad. For those of you who are unfamiliar with how the discover is gonna work, or you just haven't seen it yet, you're gonna discover one card of each class. So you're gonna discover three in total. You're gonna discover one warrior, one paladin, and one hunter, whatever the card, you know, it's uh, faction is, so. It's, and you don't pick warrior and then you discover three, it's just one of each. Trog Beast. Pretty good Beast Hunter. Probably definitely gonna be the automatic include too. Ooh, we got another legendary. That's two legendaries pretty back to back. What do we got going on? Our friend just opened up Raza the Unchained. That means we get Raza the Unchained. No, we get another Black Paul. All right, Black Paul. Got two of the same legendaries already. It's getting a little bit silly, Blizzard. It's getting a little bit silly. Epic. Another rat. <sighs> Cryomancer is gonna be huge. No, 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 no. It's not this one. It's the other one, the the mage one. That's gonna cost two less for each enemy for each secret we play. That's gonna be crazy. Jade Claw's gold is super nice. Definitely gonna go in the Jade Golem Shaman whenever I build that. <laughs> Nothing too crazy here. Pirate, give your weapon plus one attack, four drop, five, four. I just think giving a weapon plus one attack doesn't really do much. It's only plus one damage as a whole. Unless it like has two durability, then it's plus two damage. But if you increase the durability, it gives it so much more because you add another attack, which is basically, if it has four attack, three attack, you've added three or four damage instead of just the, uh, the one damage based on the amount of durability it has. So definitely durability is worth more than the attack. If you notice all the cards in this expansion give it attack, not durability, so makes up upgrade and oh shit that was a legendary another black paw wow <laughs> oh boy my rng is really shining bright here guys <laughs> it, it it grants me with the legendary and it's just like yeah you you like legendaries and then it's just like oh we're just gonna give you the same one hopefully that it heard me talk about the um the bull for am shield some kid opening up seven so let's not make that a let's not make that a plan here game all right, we're at, we're gonna, hmm. Yeah, 240, we gotta get a new card back. We've had not so much luck with this one. We put, if we, if these legendaries would've been different, I would say we've been doing just fine. But, same, same legendaries hurt. What card back you thinking, Fuse Man? What's a lucky card back? What's a nice, oh God. Shit, we opened up another pack. What's, ooh, golden rare, or golden common. What's a nice paid for card back? What's See, I've opened all my packs with the basic, thinking maybe it'll feel sorry for me. Mm -hmm. so, Any luck? No. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What's a what's a nice paid for card back? Was Ragnaros? That's the yeah yeah. yeah. Ragnaros was. Acquire from no no it wasn't. I lied. There's one that you got from pre-ordering BRM. Was that the molten core one? Yes. We paid for this card back. There we go. This is all about it right here. It knows. We paid for this card back, Blizzard. There we go. There we go. Got a rare and an epic. Nice. Now we just upgrade. Now we just need either 
two epics, a golden epic, or a legendary. And we just keep upgrading from there. All right, so this rare, it's, it's gotta be at least golden. All right, you're fucking with me. You're fucking with me, game. All right, all right. I'll take two rares and an epic. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. So all right, so. This is, this is pack number 100, right? Yep, so we're one third of the way. <laughs> this is gonna be a long journey, Fuse Man. So 21 epics and seven legendaries so far? Really? That's what I've got. I feel like that's pretty low for 100 packs. Yeah. Yeah, that's a little different. But, you, but be, uh, the three legendaries are the same, and then two of the other ones are the same. So we've only gotten three different legendaries. Yeah, it, it, that, that first 100 packs, I think, is a little disappointing. Yeah. That's a little disappointing. All right, so good stuff now. <laughs> yeah, it was just holding back. Now we got that two legendary pack coming, right? I'm going to go ahead and call. There will be a two legendary pack in this. Oh. Well, I hope you're right. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to keep opening until they do. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. All right, Blizzard. I paid hard-earned cash for this card back, and you are not treating me right right now. Those epics were nice, but we got to see a new legendary that we don't have. Like that Shaman legendary. I'll take a look at that Priest legendary. Even the Warrior legendary, because we're going to be building ourselves a Pirate Warrior very, very soon. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, we don't have this one yet, so that's good. It's not the best of rogue cards, but it's decent. And by decent, I mean not so decent, but we don't have it, so. Uh, rogue got the short end of the stick here. But for, but good thing for Rogue, a lot of their cards steal other class cards. So as long as like the other classes get better, theoretically so does Rogue. Because <laughs> they just steal everybody else's cards like Priest. Thief Rogue could be a thing. What was that? So Thief Rogue might actually be a thing. Yeah, so like Burgle Rogue, you just take everybody else's shit because everybody else's shit's so good. Oh shit, clicked on it too fast. What's up with the pandas, right? We're getting a lot of pandas. Madam Gonya. Goya? This is the this is the card that was very, very RNG based. Very similar to Brand, in my opinion. Not as crazy as Brand, because Brand you just play it and it swaps a card. It play it and it brings out a card. You don't actually have to have a card down. Uh, but this can be just as crazy, depending on the situation and the deck you're running. Mm. Golden rare. I think that's our second golden courier. Hmm. Ooh, first card we clicked epic, another trafficker. Oh shit, <laughs> legendary, there we go, warrior legendary. That's what I'm talking about. Not a bad pack, not a bad pack. Print screen that, print screen that. Add this to our little, uh, boop. There we go. All right, I'm satisfied so far. <laughs> One legendary in 50 packs feels bad, man. Yeah, that's that's actually really bad. That's like tearful bad. There we go, Dragonfire Potion, our first really good priest card, right? I definitely haven't pulled that one before. Another epic? We're feeling the epics today. Golden epic, there we go. Feel, feels good, man. Finders, keepers. Discover a card with overload, overload one. Very similar, in my opinion, to the Jade Idol. Not Jade Idol, Raven Idol. So you can actually find another, uh, whatever the card was. Finders, keepers. Do the Inception. 
Golden rare, nice. Whoa, Shadow Rager is all white. He's not so shadowy. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to say you receive an F in being stealth-like. <laughs> if we were opening up real card packs and that was actually a misprint, we'd be rich, boys. But unfortunately, these are digital and I'm sure he'll fix himself somewhere along the coding lines. Ooh, epic. Oh, not him. Ripperonis. There we go. The Crystal Runner is the card I was talking about before that's going to be really good in our Super Secret Mage. Cost two less for each secret you've played this game. Looking forward to playing that card. Super Secret Mage will be a thing. I mean, it already is a thing. How We did so well with it in our deck guides that I can't click on a pack. It's preventing me from clicking on these cards. Uh-oh. The crash is real. We, we have UI Meltdown. It's the Shadow Rager's fault. <laughs> there we go. Oh shit! There we go! There we go, a little bit of lag, a little bit of luck. That's what I'm talking about. Get another print screen in here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What the fuck is your luck? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> jade Blossoms, obviously going into that Jade Golem Druid. I would have to say we're definitely on a roll with Epics, are we not? I, I was just saying and thinking, man, your your epic role is is epic. <laughs> Nicely worded. Thank you. All right, looks like the lag has subsided. Maybe people or some other players ran out of uh, their pack opening videos. They ran out of packs. Nothing too crazy here. I I, freezing Potion is just one of those bad cards to me. Like, it, it makes Arena Mage a little bit more balanced because I think it's a common, which makes it so it occurs more than other cards, so that's nice. But the card itself is just... Yeah, it's not bad, it's just not overwhelming. Kooky Chemist, basically an upgraded Mad Scientist. Not the worst kind of card, but... Not the best. He makes Iron Forge Portal kind of even out a little bit more because it's a four drop four four, which is basically very average stats for the mana cost. There's another epic, the Hog Leader. Oh, I was gonna say if we got all three of the hogs, that would have been cool. We got two of the hogs, and we got the uh, the Dragon Priest rare. This small time buccaneer, definitely a pirate warrior card. The card's insane. It's basically a, a cog master for pirates. And for those of you who are unfamiliar with cog master, back in GVG days when Dr. Boom was a very, very real threat to the world, he's yeah. a one drop three two. If you've got a pirate out, basically. There's another epic. Potion of Polymorph, one of the cards that add a random potion, so the Cabal Chemist next to the Polymorph. It's quite ironic. Whew. This is going to be one of the strong silences in the game. The 5 drop 5 5 Battle Cry Silence of Minion. Very, very powerful. Very, very powerful. Now that Iron Beak, of course, is or has been dead for a long time. Golden rare, Blood Fury Potion. Give your minion plus three attack if it's a demon. Your demon also give it plus three health. I kind of went over this a lot in our uh, card review video. It's basically an in-between of um, Blessings of the King and uh, Mark of Nature for Druid, right? And if you're, of course, playing this in a demon deck, so it's going to give plus three, plus three. So, not like surely, it. you like it? Yeah. Well, Mark of Nature, as we know, is not played at all. Oh, God. Oh, are you Oops. fucking kidding me? Wow. This is our fourth panda! You black ball! No, you're destroying me! One legendary at a time, you're killing me. <laughs> Feels bad. Our <laughs> time of you. Feels bad, man. Feels really bad. Man. 
Like, I kind of just want to keep hitting legendaries just so he gets upset. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, if we hit three more of those panda girls, I'm gonna be in one of those videos where it shows the person opening up the same legendary seven times. It's insane. Got another epic. Another illusionish. that's pretty good. She's gonna fit pretty well into the, uh, I think Evolve Shaman is where she's gonna fit. Crystal Runner. Good. Now we have two Crystal Runners. Golden Rare. Another Golden Shadow Rager. Good. We've got two, I think, Golden Shadow Ragers, which are auto occlude like I've mentioned. Another White Out Jade Spirit. Another Misprint. <laughs> that mean we lag again? Nah, we're still in this. There's so many legendaries that we need to open still. This is this is if the, if there's four pandas, you can minus three pandas because we still need one panda. But we need like the shaman legendary. We need a couple of the neutrals to build a couple of the decks that we're looking to uh, build. Uh, we definitely need the. There's one more that I think for the classes that we needed. I'm trying to think of the one exactly. Another epic though. Rogue epic. There's that dragon neutral that allows you to draw if you don't draw until you draw a dragon, right? Or until you don't draw a dragon, which is going to be very powerful in priest. Fairy man, very very sad card. I understand why rogue players are so angry. <laughs> it, like as a control warrior player, I'm kind of upset like that the deck is basically going to be dead after this. But for rogue, that the deck has always been dead. <laughs> There's been Miracle and Vanilla, and then Malago sprung up for a little bit, but to only be able to play one archetype of a deck within a class is very sad. While Warriors, you can play Pirate Warrior, you can play Tempo Warrior, you play Dragon Warrior, you play Control Warrior, you play Nazoth Warrior. You know, Rogues is just like, oh, what Rogue are you playing? Oh, Malago's Rogue. Oh, okay, three seasons from now. Oh, what are you playing? Oh, you know, Malago's Rogue. Oh, three years from now. Oh, what are you playing? <laughs> Malago's Rogue. Another epic. Two rares. Got one golden sea devil stinger. Which is basically pay life. It's basically a uh, Cho Gal, but instead of playing a creature or playing a spell, you can play a creature. Which I think is a little bit more valuable than playing a spell. And he's cheaper, so you can play him earlier on in game board, uh, board control. With, of course, the Murloc Warlock deck. Nothing too crazy in this pack. Rare. Golden rare. I feel like the golden rares we've gotten haven't been like the cool ones, like Jade Shurikens or things like that. It's always been like these kind of discovery hard ones that aren't going to really get played. Our dust count's going to be quite high though. We're going to be able to craft most of the legendaries we may have miffed, missed out on, so it's not too terrible. Dun, 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 dun. These red mana worms are going to be really, really scary. Like I said in... Um, they conceal rogue, right? Because on turn five, they could red mana worm coin conceal, and then they go off the next turn. And plus two attack per spell for a rogue is nothing. Because all their spells like prep, backstab, shiv, they're all, you know, anywhere between zero to two mana. And then they've got cards that generate mana for free, like prep. So it's going to be a OTK rogue is coming back with a vengeance. Another illusionist? You still alive, Fuse Man? 
I'm here. I had to step away for a second. Sorry about that. Okay. It's like I haven't heard you in a while. <laughs> you fell asleep on us. Smuggler's crate. It's gonna be good. Gonna be good. All right, we're changing our card back at 170. Oh shit! Never mind. Holding on the card back. We got Kazakis, boys. Nice, nice. Fell orc. So not too bad of a pack. Not too bad of a pack at all. I'm waiting for the whisper of like you, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Kazakis was definitely one we were looking for. Alright, changing our card back, boys. Changing our card back. We gotta go with the Naxxramas card back. To show we've been playing this game a very long time. Brilliantly attempt to invade the five time last. Oh, it's that's the one I've been seeing so much of. That's not the heroic Nax. This is the heroic Nax, right? Oh, for some reason I thought this was the heroic Nax one. You're exactly right, Fuse Man. In a video you had left, you're like, oh, that's the Legion one, not that's, the... Yeah, I thought it was. Yeah, for some reason, th this definitely gives me the next theme, though. But you're exactly right, 100%. <sighs> All right. We did Heroic Max Ram. It's one of the hardest... I would have to say classify that as the hardest adventure mode. Yeah, that I was the first. Up. You gave up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was it's it was crazy. Like some of the bosses you needed to draw exactly the right thing. Like there was no, you know, outplaying them. There was no, you know, building a deck to beat them. It was merely drawing exactly what you need. With the exact right deck. It's crazy. All right, so we haven't opened up an epic with this new card back, which has not been, we got a golden common, so we're, we're heading up in the direction of doing better with these packs, but if we don't get something good in the next, like, I want to say five packs, this card back has uh, deceived us. Mm, heroic Naxxramas, you fucking with me. There we go. Not the best epic, but still an epic, so we're back on the, we're back on track. Another epic, that's what I'm talking about. Another rap pack. I'm so stoked to start making some decks, guys. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Volcanic potion, pretty good AoE. Greater healing potion. There was when I for, when I reviewed this card for you guys. I totally my mind just didn't read the friendly character part. It just said restore two health to a character. There was not. There was no. I, I swear that the words friendly were not there. So I definitely uh, misrepresented what the card can do. Cause I'm like, oh, you could combo that with soul priest and all this stuff to deal like 28 burst damage and all this stuff. And it was just completely wrong. All of it was wrong. It was all lies. All right, two rares. Oh, golden rare, there we go. The protector, yeah. We want like a golden jade shuriken, right? That'd be cool. Or we can get like a, oh, there's another. All white out, that's what I'm talking about. Like if we can get a golden um, jade golem card, then the golem it will bring out will be golden. And I think that'll be pretty sick. So ideally, we want a couple of those. There's another epic. Oh, two epics in this pack. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Heading down to almost two thirds done. We need to open 20 more packies. Pacalitos. Haven't gotten a legendary in a long time, guys. And by a long time, I mean at least Three and a half minutes. Since we switched to this card back. 
All right, I'm, gi I'm giving you up until 145 heroic max ramus to you have that time until to impress me. Mm -mm. I like how we resorted to talking to the card back, Fuse Man, as a way to obtain more rare cards. <laughs> Oh, there we go. It heard us talking shit. And that so, let's check it out. Fight promoter. And... There we go. Paladin legendary. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Oh, shit. Hold on. Gotta pull up the... Uh, the unused paint. I'm fucking up here, guys. There we go. Sorry about that. Just a rare, and this one's gotta make make up for just, us just pulling a legendary. Makes makes sense. I guess feels bad. Man just gave up. <laughs> <laughs> Golden, I know a guy. So that's a card that we might actually use in Taunt Warrior. So that's cool. And the card that it brings out, the taunt that it generates, will be golden as well, which can be a pretty cool card. Another golden. There we go. Golden Jade Blossom. So it's going to summon that Jade Golem and it's going to generate a golden mana crystal. Just kidding. Nah, Golden Jade Blossom gives you two mana crystals instead of one. All right, since we've asked for it, we got it, and we got the legendary heroic snack. Heroic back can uh, can stay for a little bit longer. Golden epic, brass knuckles. It's hard to say. After it, your hero attack, give a random minion in your hand plus one plus one. And if we give this plus attack, it's not the worst thing ever. I don't think this card will be as bad as what people think, but it's still not that great. In my oh. <sighs> Two Shadow Ragers in that pack. Holy shit. I'm getting trolled. Another epic? And two rares. Operative. That's obviously the Dragon Priest automatically include two, 100%. <laughs> Card is so broken. Another epic. Two epics. Holy moly mackerel. So, Marshall, we have her, and then Lunar Visions I don't think we have yet, so that's a good pull. Golden Rare, Blood Fury Potion. That's our second Golden Blood Fury Potion. We might be building ourselves a demon lock just to play the double potion. Because we have to test out our golden cards. Dun, dun, dun. We're almost to the two thirds complete, boys. Ooh, somebody opened Knuckles. Nice, nice. Alrighty, so with two-thirds left we have to go back to our standard for the remainder of the packs Where is it? The card back that no one uses the card back that I refuse to give up the rainbow card back It's been with me for a long time guys and ever since I got it I have not given it up. It has been my ranked card back for a very long time <laughs> I actually got a message from someone, and they're like, I played a Warshack, but he wasn't using the rainbow card back, so I knew it wasn't you. <laughs> I was like, you're exactly right. Golden Epic Lotus Assassin, there we go. Cool card, cool card.
Another epic, another epic. Two Dragonfire Potions now, perfect, because I believe this will be a two of in that deck. Hmm. Nothing too crazy here, nothing too crazy. Potion of Madness is going to be a really interesting card. Whether it gets comboed with Shadow Ward Horror or not, I don't know. But it's basically a, an anti-bloodlust for only one mana. So whether your opponent's making trades or destroying the board, nothing, nothing good's going to happen when they use that card. Nothing good. Oh, shit. Wasn't a bad pack. What was this? Two rares, a golden common, and an uh, epic? Nice. Cool. My rainbow card back is pulling its weight so far. <laughs> now we just need to hit um, that dragon neutral legendary. I don't think he's a dragon, but he involves dragons. And then I think we'll be good. We got Kak Kazakus. We haven't gotten the warlock legendary, but I honestly, it's okay, but I don't think it's that great. He looks badass though. I think in wild, he's a little bit better than standard. Because in wild, there's Void Caller, and Void Caller can bring him out. And then when he dies, he just keeps bringing things out. I think this is our first Jade Idol. I don't recall ever seeing a Jade Idol before this. That's kind of scary. Another Trafficker? She reminds me of like a vampire. It's probably what she is. When we pull another one, if we do, we'll take a closer look. Another potion. Ooh, pilfered power. It's like the bad version of uh, ancestral communion, right? Just doesn't feel like that well, that powerful. But who knows? Could be, it could be. Ah, oh, there's our second Jade Idol. That was, it's just a rare, so it's very strange that we wouldn't have seen one prior. Unless we did, I just have been ignoring it. Uh, I'm interested to see our death count after this. <laughs> it's gonna be sick. Oh, another Kazakus. Not too bad. Such a cool card. Kazakus is probably one of my favorite cards to get released out of this expansion. The ability to create your own card just seems so very cool. So many legendaries. Indeed, indeed. So many of the same legendaries. <laughs> I feel like we've been opening packs for a very, very long time, Views Man. <laughs> I didn't notice what time we started, but yeah. Like, at least an hour. <laughs> we got a golden Drakenoid, which is good, because <laughs> that's going to be a card we play on our Dragon Priest, so it's a staple that we're going to be seeing a lot of, and having golden staples is very good. All right. She classifies as a vampire, right? I mean, she looks very vampire-esque. She doesn't look like a demon at all. She looks like she might control demons. I don't know. But obviously she does if she generates them. Hmm. 
Nothing too out of the ordinary. That one drop 2-2 two, two, though, that Death Rattle Restore uh, 4 health. Um, a lot of people have been saying it's like the replacement to Zombie Chow, and it might even be a little bit better because it's both players, and the synergy with, with that within Priest is pretty powerful because of the damage it can do with Soul Priest or, um, what is the card? Um, Embrace the Shadows, so. And it heals you as well, just doesn't heal them, so it's very, very, very good. And all Priest needs is really a decent early game, or just to be able to survive early game, and then they've got their late game with their hero power and cards like Entomb, so. Another epic. Golden epic, where are we at? Oh, he's over. I heard golden epic, oh, I heard, oh, I opened this guy, which was golden, and then I clicked this guy, which was an epic. Confused me, I thought he said golden epic. Naga Corsair. Big Time Racketeer is the card that I was talking about that's really bad with the Moonglade portal. That'd be one hell of a guy to bring out. Pay six mana, summon a 1-1. One, one. <laughs> oh, heal yourself for six too, but. All right, we're down to our last 100. Still prime time to open up some good stuff. Our fifth Rat Pack, ouch. Golden Rare, Backstreet Leaper, Leper. We still haven't seen that double legendary yet. I don't think I've ever gotten a double legendary before, but I know it can happen. Some people get three legendaries. Never seen that. You've never seen a triple, oh, my first uh, mana geode. Have you gotten a double legendary before? I have. Nice. I believe it was with whispers. Mm. We haven't gotten a single golden legendary yet either. No. I was just doing the math here. You're actually still. On, I mean, your epic rate is pretty crazy. <laughs> on your legendaries, you're actually running pretty good. You're about one in every 16 packs, every 17 packs. So that's about right. Yeah, yeah, we've been getting them at a good pace. It's just the problem is they're all the same. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's just luck, right? <laughs> yeah. I wanted to get a golden, uh, the four drop three, three, uh, create a random potion. I think that'd be cool golden. Because then the potion generates is golden. Any card that's golden that generates more golden cards, is that's value. Since just like you have double the golden cards, but not really. <laughs> You'll never guess what these two are. <laughs> oh, the uh, soul caster is nice, and that's their second finder's keepers. That's good. Alrighty. Another epic. Sleep with the fishes. I think this is our second one, which is good. Alright. On pack 8. 85 is our epic. Or no, our legendary. 85 is our legendary. Because it's gonna... It, it, it's gonna kind of uh, fizzle out here with this pack. With only the just the rare. And we're gonna smack that guy down. And right here. That's not it. That's not it. This isn't it. This isn't it. This top one. Yeah, that's not it either. <laughs> I'm feeling it though. It's 84. No, this would be 85 because we have 84 left. So I was right. So 85. You have a chance to redeem. That's what I'm saying. I said it. I said it was 85 and we're at 85. That's what I'm talking about. It's, it's all about the key. Why the fuck did my Xbox just turn on? I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> My Xbox One literally just turned on. All right, treat me right. Give me something we don't have. I swear to God, if it's a black Paul, do not be a black Paul. I'll take a guy we don't have, even though he's, not, in my opinion, not too great. I'll still take a guy we don't have. 
All right. That was a pretty good call. Pretty good call. All right, now it's got it because we opened up the legendary. It's got to give us some dry packs. It's just part of Hearthstone's little way. I'm not feeling the mojo. I'm not sure which pack I should guess next, but I'm just not feeling it right now. We have to feel mojo. We gotta, it has to brew. And then once the mojo brews, then we get the legendaries. Golden common, not too bad, it's brewing. There's another epic. Oh shit! Golden common, golden common. This is the one I was talking about I, that I wanted to see. The golden uh, chemist that gives us a random potion. So thank you, game, for hearing me out right. That's what I like to see. <coughs> After that pack, there's something brewing in the background, guys. What are we feeling? We're feeling pack 72. 72 is a legendary. Seventy-two. I don't know. We have to get to like seventy-three. We have to the radiation of the mojo. Double alley cat. Kitty. It's another epic. All right, so we're at 73 and I said 72, which means it wouldn't be this one, it'll be the next one. So it all depends what's in this one. Double rare, golden one, so hmm. I don't, I don't know if it's gonna be 72 or not. I think, it's, I think it's been pushed back to 70. Yeah, I think it's been pushed back to 70, folks. Yeah, glad I didn't call 72, I changed my vote, I changed it. This is 71. Mm -mm. This is it. 70 has to be it. That's what I'm saying. We, we've, we've done the math. We've calculated the numbers. This is the pack. It can't be the top one. Because it was the top. No, it was the right one last time. Which means it has to be somewhere in the... I want to say bottom left. I just lied. It's not going to be this pack at all. <laughs> it would have been crazy if it was though, right? If it would have, I just would have fell down. <laughs> You'd be holy shit, Rob. Alright, how much you would have spent on lotto tickets today? <laughs> oh. There's another epic. We got two rares. Two rares. Yeah, the Grim Seat Enforcer is going to be nice. That's good. Do you have a pack number, Fuse? Are you feeling a pack number at all? Or is that a little too specific? 55. 55, all right. I have you locked in at 50. Double nickels. Double nickels. I've heard that expression before. I was in New York. It was over the radio. That was the first time I heard it, and that's why I remember it. It's a cool expression. Cool. 55, we're getting close. Haven't seen a legendary yet. Oh shit. Well, I hope you're right, Fuse. <laughs> Alrighty, what do we got? What is this? Ouch. What is this? Like, once we get a legendary, it's just like, ha, let's give it to him again. I guess we should still take it, though, because it's still 400 dust. Which, unfortunately, is only one fourth of another legendary. Counterfeit coin. Got another epic on the scene with two rares. Another dragon fire, not too shabby. And then we gotta figure out what our golden legendaries that we wanna craft for this set are. Cause there's like last set we crafted golden Azoth, golden Yogg, and golden Cthune. Because those are just, you know, the three gods. You gotta craft the three gods in gold. It's just very important. 
to this one, it'll be interesting what. There's no, like, super core cards and decks that I saw. It's more so very specific cards and specific decks. Golden Rare. Got another Chemist. That's really cool. So now we can play two of these bad boys. That's good. Oh, two golden ones, that is. Was that your 55 pack? Did I just skip over that? Nope, nope, we haven't hit it yet. All right, so this is 56. All right, this is looking like could be right. This is a dry pack, which means a, a fat pack is coming. Come on, baby. Right here, fat pack. Rare, okay. Oh. Oh, well, what do I know? <laughs> we'll see if it, we'll see if you're the next pack though. We'll see if it's the next pack. Could be. Wow, three three dry packs in a row. This is hurting. All righty. Oh, there we go. Back on the epic train. Back on the epic golden epic with sleep with the fishes. I guess this will be the revenge replacement whenever revenge cycles out. <sighs> Another buccaneer, that's good. So we basically have everything we need to build that whatever. I'm assuming with the dust that this is going to give us Burgle Bully. Haven't seen him before. Alright. We're getting to that point. Or the mojo is a brute one. Another dry one. We're getting there, folks. All right. 43. Oh, I was just going <laughs> to say 43. <laughs> you see? We were feeling the mojo. That's it. The mojo is at 43. Yeah, that has to be something. We were both going to say the same thing. It has to be. It, we've got we've got something going on here. I mean, it won't be, but it has to. Be. <laughs> it's like the chances are so slim, but it feels so right. So we're at 44, and the next one is the 43. If that's the pack that we get the double legendary that we both called out, how crazy! I'm just gonna disconnect. <laughs> I'm just gonna disconnect. All right, I I normally hit space bar, but we're actually gonna drag this. We're gonna do the slow drag. We gotta hit it right on the edges. Plop that bad boy down. All right. There's the rare. There's nothing. Ooh. There's nothing. We have two more cards left. Oh boy, we got one. Oh, two stop. rares. Ah. Oh. No more gambling for me. No more gambling for me. <laughs> Another dragon flag. All right, new pack thirty-seven. New pack is thirty-seven, and I'm gonna guess the bottom one. Golden Devolve, that was cool. Ah, another leper. So at thirty-nine right now. Thirty-nine. It's two more. Another epic. Another lotus. I think this is our second assassin. So that's good. So this is the 37. I'm guessing bottom left. We haven't seen anything big in the bottom left in a long time. So boom. That's it right here. Boom. This is big. The Shakesy Zip Gunner. Three drop. Three three. <laughs> this is making moves. <laughs> oh man. All right. Our guessing has been off quite a bit. We need to redeem ourselves. We're down to our last 35. 35. Mm. 
All right, we can we can we can rip another two legendaries out of this. Theoretically. I'll go with that. Two legendaries, yeah. It'll be disappointing if it's not at least two. Yeah, we haven't seen one in quite some time as well, so we're we're due. We're due. <coughs> Uh oh. Hmm. Down to the 30. Alright. 30 or 25 is the new number. Lock it in at 35. Or 25. Twenty-five. And then again at twenty-three. I'm locking in two numbers. 25 and 23. Getting there. Ooh, and 27. Hello, how you doing? I swear, if it's Black Panda or the, um, the Noggin Fogger guy. There we go, the Warlock Legendary. That's the good stuff. Sweet. Ooh, I like that one. Hey, you haven't seen this one yet. So it's basically Deathwing's ability, but reversed. So he's Battlecry instead of a Death Rattle. Oh man, that's a Reno card if I ever saw one. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Gotta bring up the uh, paint real quick and uh, paste this bad boy into here. Mm hmm, mm hmm. It's just a cool, cool card, no doubt. So I guess 25 and 23, so we guessed a double legendary within two packs of each other after pulling one at 27. Can we do it? I think we can. A little can-do attitude. Alright. <laughs> Maybe not with the can-do attitude. The can-do attitude gets you disappointment and despair. Alright, 23. This was another guess. Fuck me. <laughs> we are not on fire. Normally we do pretty good with the guesses. Last Whispers expansion, we did pretty well. This one, it's hurting me bad. Golden Lotus Agent, cool. This is definitely a card that's gonna see a lot of play, so I'm glad I got him in golden. Crafting golden com commons hurt. It's like, what, 1200 dust or something crazy like that? No, no, don't play him. No, it must be, I think it's 800, it's 800. So we can get at least one more out of here. We can get at least one more. Based on Fuse Man's calculations. All right, all right. There's always calm before the storm. Where's the storm? Double wear epic is a pretty nice, it's a small drizzle. It's a small drizzle, not exactly a storm yet. Fifteen, fifteen. Where are we at? Where are we at? Oh, there we go. There we go. Golden, golden rare and a piranha launcher. Haven't seen a piranha launcher yet. It's cool. Cool, 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 cool. The last 10 packs, guys, are gonna be fucking ridiculous. They're gonna be the best things we've ever seen since, like, <coughs> cheese bread. Since cheese bread. Do you have faith? Oh, oh, like I said, we're getting, whoa. So we got gold common, rare, rare, and legendary. And he guesses, Fuse Man, and he guesses. Let's go with uh, another neutral. Another neutral. I swear. I'm going to go with Panda. 
Golden Legendary, there we go. Unfortunately, we have this guy already, but he's still a Golden Legendary. <laughs> we have to take it, we have to take it. <clears throat> Thanks, Donovan. Gave us that sweet grasp. So, we got our one Golden Legendary, can't be, can't be too sad. But I'm feeling that the packs are gonna be big. I'm feeling these last 10, they're loaded. Maybe just not this one, because all the loadedness in this pack got transferred to pack number eight. Because we, we, we got that double stack coming. All right, so the stacks that were in the past two packs are now <laughs> transferred into the seventh pack, which may be transferred into the sixth pack. We don't know yet. All right, definitely has been transferred into the sixth pack. So we got slight load. We got we got double rare epic. Golden. Golden. So I think we actually have two golden jade claws, which is awesome. Small overflow from the double legendary pack that's to come. Oh, another epic. Another trafficker. Oh man, if it's the last pack fuse. It's been teasing us the whole time. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. Rare. Golden rare? I know a guy, okay, okay. I'll take golden commons all day. Those things are 800 dust a piece. <laughs> Another rare. All right, it's our last pack that has to do us in right here. This is it. All right, sit up straight boys. Let's take a sip of coffee. Nice, slow drag, slow drag. Give it a little rub, give it a little rub. You always gotta give it a little rub. There we go. Drop it in there. Open it up. All right, that's not the one. That's not the one either. <laughs> that's not the one either. Oh, fuck. The chances of this being only a legendary are extremely few. Yeah, excuse me. Low. Went out with a whimper. Went out with a went out with the bomb squad. Alrighty. Alright, so dust count people. Dust count. We need some dust counts in here. Before I hit my collection, we need to Fuse Man, where are we at with the dust? Give me an exact 12, number. Twelve thousand dust with Fuse Man. I'm gonna guess something well, twelve thousand dust, that's a lot of dust. I'm gonna I'm gonna push fourteen thousand five hundred and twenty. Oh, that's there we go. 14,520. Right here, it's gonna. Poof. 16,485. Wow. Did I guess 400? Was 400 in my thing? I don't know. I don't remember the number. It's 14,000 something something. That's a lot of dust. Are we about this dust count right now? I think we are. Screenshot. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I appreciate you watching our pack opening video. Um, I can't wait to start getting these decks built for you guys, testing them, uh, perfecting them, and making the um, hitting legend, and then you know doing well with them. So uh, hopefully you've enjoyed. Thank you, Fuse Man, again for helping purchase some of these packs, as it's greatly appreciated and will help a lot. Thanks for having me. Yeah, of course, man. Of course. And um, without further ado, I suppose it's time to hit ladder and start playing with these cards. I'll see you guys later. Um, I'm Warshack, of course. Fuse Man. <laughs> Fuse Man here. And uh, happy whatever the hell day it is.